In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this realistic letter embroidery patch using Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. Studio Shepherd. So starting in Adobe Illustrator, we're going to select the type tool and we're going to add our text. And so I'm going to select the letter S and I'm using the font Kega which is a free Adobe font and in the font size of 281 points. Now with your text selected, we're going to open the appearance panel and here I'm going to add a new fill and I'm going to have my fill set to white. Now we're also going to add a new stroke and I'm going to have this set to black and making sure it is pure black and I'm going to set the stroke to around 21 and then drag the stroke layer under your fill layer. Next select the stroke and we're going to go down to effects, distort and transform, transform. I'm going to set the copies to 20 and then the horizontal to negative 1 and vertical to 1. Then press OK. Now we're going to go up to options and select duplicate item. It's going to create a copy of our stroke and this bottom stroke we're going to change the color and I'm going to set that to yellow. Now you can see if we bump up the stroke weight it will show from behind our text. So I'm going to set that to around 39 and so this is looking really good if we zoom in you can see some of these edges are a little bit janky so once you're finished and you're happy with your letter select it and go up to type down to create outlines and here if we zoom in selecting the white arrow tool and then ever so slightly click on this point here to round the corners and we're just going to round it slightly and as you can see it's going to fix those edges. So once you're finished, select your text, Command C or Control C to make a copy, and then we're going to jump across to Adobe Photoshop Beta. So if you don't have Adobe Photoshop Beta, then jump into Creative Cloud, go across to Apps, and then select Beta. And here we can install Adobe Photoshop Beta. We're going to start by creating our canvas which is 1080 pixels wide by 1920 pixels high and the resolution at 72. Then press create and here hit command V or control V to paste in our image as a smart object. And here I'm just going to scale it up within our canvas then press enter. Next we're going to go up to filter and select parametric filters and here you can see the new embroidery filter so select this which is going to bring up the settings panel so there's a bunch of settings in here for you to try and so I'll show you some of them so I'm just going to adjust my light angle here to around 139 I'm going to change the number of colors to 3 as I've got only three colors on my image. We can change the embroidery style. So I've got it set to fill, but we can have it set to fill and outline, just outline or a top stitch. But for this, I'm gonna stick with fill. You can change the fill and outline tightness. So that's just gonna create some small tweaks. So I'm gonna leave that at 0.25. You can change the thread thickness. And so you can definitely see it along the edges here. So if I put that up to full, it just makes it a lot thicker. So I'm just going to have this set again to around 0.45 looks good. And same with the length. I think it was good at 0.5. You can add some more imperfections. So this is how rough it looks. So this is going to mess it up quite a bit. So I like to have this 
set at around 0 0.29, 0 0.3. And then under the colors, you can customize each color individually. And so we can actually change the design from satin to twill, which is a really cool effect as well. And you can do that for all of your colors. So this is starting to look like a really cool looking patch. But for now, I'm going to keep the design set to satin. And I think I'm happy with how this is looking. So once you're happy, we can actually go up to the top and we can set this as a preset. So click this plus button and I'm going to set this as preset one, create. And this means we can come back and apply the same settings to other images. And that's how to create this letter embroidery patch effect in Adobe Illustrator in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest design tips. I'll see you in the next video.